So I'm right here taking off the, what well, I already did, the clutch. This is the old clutch. Holy crap. This clutch is gone. Not that much left. So, um, Clayton did buy a new clutch, ACT, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm right here taking off the flywheel because I need to take this engine to the backyard and this adds weight to it, so I don't need it. And this thing actually has a good amount of power to take it off, look. So this is my DeWalt 3.8. It is the DCF883 impact. And then I have the I have the what do they call it? 12 point set from Harbor Freight right here. Oh jeez, where you go, Sebastian? Here's the part number for that. It is item item 61285. Really good set. Pretty much half of my tools are from Harbor Freight, and they're reliable as heck. So, no need to oh, no need to buy something more expensive. Let's get that out of the way. Clayton did buy ARP um, flywheel bolts, so we're not going to be using those. Pressure flex or flywheel should come off now. Come on. It's almost out. Jeez, I got to do this with one hand. Flywheel is off. Um, Clayton did get a Fidanza flywheel, so we're not going to be using that one. And I think, yeah, looks like he might have a rear main seal leak. It's a lot of dirty, a lot of old oil just gunked up. So he did go ahead and order another one, which is good. Don't want to use this old one. And I guess I'll pressure, I guess I'll pressure wash it. And oh crap, I got some mud in there. I gotta pressure wash that too. Pressure wash that. And get this going to the backyard. My God. And it's flat. God, this is horrible. Clayton, the audio's gonna get butchered by the birds. Oh well. You wanna hold this while I... Yep, go right ahead. Um, this is how not to remove a rear main seal. What are you supposed to use? <laughs> the right tool. Which is? I don't have it. What type of backyard mechanic type stuff is Man, this? I'm a backyard mechanic. Destroyed. Oh my god, it's not it doesn't want to come out. What the hell? So you're saying Carl went to the meet after everyone had left? Yeah, I told him to pull up. Not no 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 like like earlier yes like today, but he said after work, so I guess after work meant hella late. I mean it's whatever. Heart IP. Yeah. Oh my god, up. this is not coming out, dude. Go from a different angle. Like a different spot. What? the hell dude there you go well after struggling for how long i don't know 10 20 minutes <laughs> i finally got it out uh. <laughs> look at that chocolate sauce man yeah, that's full of oil <laughs> you gotta pressure wash that Jeez. oh look the the state back there oh is that destroyed yeah uh, that's kids why you just, uh, change your rear main seal. Yeah, change your rear main seal if you get a chance. Um, this one obviously shows that it's leaking all the, the bottom of the engine. It's all gunked up right here. You know, when I took off um, Edgar's old clutch, it was actually down to the rivets. Oh my god. So it's this, like Carl's. <laughs> his clutch was about. 
I got some oil right there, so I'll just soak that with regular oil. All on the inside? Everywhere. All around it, actually. On the outside, on the inside. Slippery when wet. Yeah, slippery when wet. Oh, God. Hey, what's going on? So Danny showed what's up. up. Danny? <laughs> Where's Santi? Make sure um, the door's closed. Yeah. Don't let the dogs out. Ooh, let the dogs Stop. Out. <laughs> Stop. I'm going to get demonetized. What? I don't know. They're going to be like, oh, you can't oh, sing the song. Danny's here in Santi. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. I think it's. What are you doing, dude? Go get a fucking. Go get a. Oh my god. I don't need Here, it. hold this. While you're doing that, you're gonna. Oh man, dude. What are you doing? I got the 14. I got the 14. Is it loosening? Yeah. Oh shit. You better hope it's loosening. Yes, I'm loosening. See? <sighs> Take off the wobble. Why do you have the wobble, dude? Hey, I'm tired. Tired of what? Sucking. <laughs> what? Demonetize. Demonetize. <laughs> Nothing, dude. <laughs> Nothing. Isn't this stupid? All right, all right, all right. Ah. Zoom our hand down. God. Jeez. Better hold it. It's gonna don't let it drop, man. I don't want oil over this shit. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh yeah. You shoulda you should have spun it out. Just like how that one kid on Instagram does it at the dealership where he's like has the glasses all cockeyed and he's like, I don't care how well you, you do it, but you ain't gonna Are get those metal shavings. Oh there's just bubbles. I think there's just bubbles, dude. You sure? They're bubbles, dude. Yeah, oh yeah. I was like, fuck, son. Edgar, what'd you do this? I mean, you could flash this flashlight. I don't know if it's shiny, then it's shiny. Dude, put that down. Put that down. It's going to start getting heavy. Actually, I think, yeah, put it like that. Put it under the, because I think it's going to hit eventually the red part. Chocolate milk, man. Part Thank you, of Nesquik, for sponsoring this video. What the heck? Anyways, we have the 2ZZ on the Harbor Freight engine stand. Uh, I think I bought this for around... Uh, uh, R.I.P. Oh, no. Oh, son. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? At least it won't rust. I think it's good now. Oh, no. Never mind. I think we just let it drip when we get food. All right. I just hope it doesn't, like, keep moving this way, if that makes sense. Should I just, like, kind of... Oh, look at the shops out right there. Should we lean the engine like a little bit out so all of it gets out? No, it's already sideways, dude. It's already sideways. Uh, Rosy Raggy. It's already leaning. What the heck? He watches too much Scooby Doo. I don't watch Scooby Doo. I was just. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we're draining it. We're going to install the Moroso. And hopefully, if he's still motivated after he eats, we'll attach the engine to the transmission. The clutch, the flywheel, Fadanza, ACT clutch. I think it's like... Shut up. Wow. So people are asking for a build list. That's kind of rude. Who's people? Mind your business. <laughs> people. I know who's wanting a build list. His, his name starts with the M. <laughs> Um, and his last name starts with a D, like D's. Got oh, him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm cringe, dude. What's I'm that over cringe. there? What is that over? <laughs> what is that over there? Shout out to PJ. Why did you buy it? I didn't buy. It. <laughs> PJ sent it to me in the Mishimoto box. Shout out PJ. Um, I think 25 GT on Instagram. Why did he buy it? For the aesthetics. He Aesthetic. Said. Yeah. Okay, well, that's actually going bad already. Um, is there a rag over there? Bring a rag. Bring a rag. <laughs> Which rag? <laughs> the blue ones. We're going to save the red one Why for future videos. Ready? Clan, clean that sucker. Oh, my God. That's nasty.
There's a good amount right here under the manifold. Don't tell me it's over already. <laughs> Is it over already? There's a lot. Huh? Remember I was using it earlier? All right. On the Fadonza flywheel. Next one? Yeah. Um, go ahead and use the next one. Okay. No, it doesn't matter. We're gonna. Is there a hose going there? Yeah, that's where your um, coolant goes. That's the front of the engine, huh? Yeah, that's the front. Oh. So this is all stuff you won't be able to reach once the manifold is on. So that's what I'm saying, clean it now before you put it back on. And you just hit it with the wire brush. So after struggling with the razor blade, Clan finally got it out. Let's take it out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, all that crap's from the degreaser we were using. It fell through the through the dipstick tube. But flip it over, Clan. Flip it over, what do you mean? Yeah, flip it over. Just ah. grab it and just flip it over. The engine. Yes, flip it over. Are you cool. scared? Tiny bit. Alright, so grab this rod. Hold on. Grab this rod. Hold on. Here, put that right there. I don't know, this this right ah, put this right here. Put this right there. Yeah. On top. Alright, now take this off. You have to kind of move the engine left and right. Move the engine left and right. There you go. Okay. Now, slowly, slowly, slowly. You're, it's gonna feel like it's gonna fall. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> After Clayton almost broke his oil pressure sensor. How? Because this sensor right here hit right here and that was the only thing holding it. Damn, son. <laughs> but, I guess I didn't really gnarly. I guess I didn't really scar it that bad right here. Well, time to get scraping. Yeah, get scraping. That's, that's your engine, you know, get to work, man. It ain't free Where's labor. Where do you have a razor? <laughs> right there's a razor by your right foot. It ain't free. Come on, let's go. So, the 2ZZ has four studs. One being myself. Oh my goodness. Um, No, but you have one, two, three, four studs on the oil pan. And here they are. You have to remove them because you want to use the longer Morozo ones. Yeah, right there. Too so much. you could just do my way. Um, so what I did is I grabbed the nuts and I went ahead and put it on the thread. Grab the nuts. <laughs> and then what I did was I just tie, tie in the, the nut to the point where you don't feel it spin no more. Get Put it a little bit tight, but don't strip it. Please don't strip it. Get a little tight and you should be able to reverse it back out and it should come out nope fail <laughs> come on man i just did them all three times right now okay let's let's try this let's try the open wrench method i'm gonna fail so bad right now it's not gonna be on camera too it's gonna be on camera okay get demonetized. i'm tightening it <laughs> And it should spin. Oh, it's not spinning, dude. What the heck? Really? I just did it three times. Look. I just did it three times. And this, the fourth one that I'm going to record, is not working. Wow. Typical. Typical YouTube star right now, man. Jeez. All right. Well, I guess I'll do it off camera then. God. I just did it three times. What are you doing? Installing studs from the most oil pan kit. Are you a stud? Wow, that's kind of fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, he said that's kind of fruitcake. Uh, yeah, so we're installing all the studs on the block. Make sure you don't drop any inside the block as I proceed to do that. Right. <laughs> 
Yeah, so we have to install the stud kit because the Moroso oil pan is actually really thick. Just the way you... Shut up, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Jeez. What? Shut up. Getting tired of your crap, man. You gonna get my whole, gonna get all my videos demonetized, dude. All videos removed. All videos removed. <laughs> Gives he who shall not be named the chance to shine with his purchased followers. Purchased followers, bots, and um... Everyone else, all of the above. Etc, etc. Et with his uh, special... <laughs> I have this cheapo Harbor Freight set. I usually, I buy these because of the security Torx bits. A lot of the arcade games use this. I believe this is six hours from Harbor Freight and then their free screwdriver that they always offer with their coupons. And that's what I'm using to tighten all the studs. Make sure you don't over torque them because if you do, you're gonna strip them. And on some of them, like, this right here it will just go it will keep going going and going because there's a hole on the side of the on this side so you want to just stop it at the right point kind of level it out with the ones to each end just level it out and just make sure you time them all don't leave one loose yeah they'll have like if you look closely they like little allen heads those are the ones that need to be sticking out so you can tighten them I actually did not know. This is actually my first time installing a Morozo pan, so I did not know that you needed a stud kit for this. Fancy much? Fancy pants? I don't think those look like fancy pants to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we got all the all of them installed just test fitting it and now we're gonna add the to the toyota packing seal rtv because you know what do they call me oem c vest <laughs> shut up <laughs> Shout out to Hien Lu for um, from the MR2 page for the uh, most oil pan. Shout out to Victor Paul for uh, Victor for showing me the uh, link to this. Nice. I got a good ass deal out of it. And here's the packing seal for oil pan and camshaft housings. Wow! Focus. There we go. <laughs> My face. All right, take it off and let's throw on the RTV. Okay, Clayton, since the last video I made about the 2ZZ oil pan, a lot of my commenters were like, oh, you didn't install it right. You went on the outside of the threads. But little did they know, I did it on the inside a second time around. And so I got flamed really bad on the comment section. So now this is me telling you when you're applying the RTV, go on the inside of the threads. Does that make sense? For sure. All right. So, go ahead and start. Am I doing too much or? Mm, I don't know, I think that's a little bit too much. No, you should be fine. So I can show all you guys. I went on the inside and outside. Even though my XRS is not leaking, so it doesn't really matter. Jeez. And go ahead, do the honors. Like a glove. Weirdo. Anyone that knows that reference, let me know in the comment section and I'll give you guys a shout out. <laughs> Get the nuts. Come on, let's hurry up before they start heat, um, drying up. Clearing. Did they call you OEM Clayton in high school? Yeah, they call me OEM Clayton. They're like, hey, what's up, OEM Clayton? You want to go to this party next week? And I was like, Nah, I gotta go to Toyota Parts Center and buy OEM parts. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you got that oil filter? Yeah. Call me OEM Clayton. OEM Clayton with the Bozo <laughs> oil pad. Let me see one lid. Oh god, please don't fail at installing an oil filter. Alright, boy. Damn! 
make this bitch. All right. right. <laughs> Marosa oil pan is installed. We went around tying all the nuts and let's seat a little bit through, which should be fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, haters, go ahead and leave your comments on the comment section, just like how you guys did on my 2ZZ or 1ZZ oil pan on a 2ZZ video. Cool. Awesome. Progress. Damn, Clayton, that looks hella clean. Yeah, I did it all by myself. See how wow. I'm still working on it, someone's recording me. <laughs> Um, if anyone's curious how we got it very, very clean, we used the combination of the gunk engine cleaner, Foamy, from AutoZone. This is about uh, $4. And then we um, bought some Purple Power, which I've shown this in my videos multiple times, how I clean the tiny chain covers with them and leave them like spotless. And here's Clayton just dragging it up before we attach the Fidanza flywheel. Fadonza lightweight flywheel. You're lightweight. <laughs> yeah. Looks clean, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. I got it all on myself. Shut up. Thanks, OEM Sebastian. I really appreciate you. OEM Sebas, who's that? Didn't they call me that in high school? Yeah, I think they did call me that in high school. <laughs> you know, you should make your own. Uh, shammies. Shammies? Yeah. Nah, man. Someone out there else. Someone out there is doing it already. I don't. I don't want to be um, a clout seeker. Clout seeker. <laughs> Broke it. Ah, oh, fuck! Yeah. I dropped it in the oil. Use my comrade. Record me, you bastard. Clayton, what are you cleaning that the um, the um, flywheel bolt with? Uh, what is this? What is that, man? Where'd you get that from? Mm, I don't know. Kind of found it. You found it? Yeah, it was in this Mishimoto radiator package. Was it now? Yeah. One of our one of our followers sent us a care package, huh? Yeah, it's for the aesthetics. Aesthetics. They're really cool about them, man. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so for the for the, for the A ARP um, flywheel bolts, um, it comes with the assembly lube you want to put this under the cap so under the cap you want to put a little bit of it and be it, it recommends to use blue loctite but i only have red um it shouldn't really matter um because one when i actually installed this on my xrs i actually didn't install loctite on it and i've been pushing that car hard for twenty thousand miles and Knock on wood, it still works, you know? So we're just gonna use red Loctite, it's better than nothing. So if you have the blue one, go ahead and use the blue one, but because I only have red, we're just gonna use the red. And you wanna torque them down to 70 foot pound, you said? I believe so, hold 70. on. 70. Um, yeah, it says right here, there's little instructions on the inside of it. Okay, that's cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do one. Yeah, 70 foot pounds right there. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do one. Probably the lighting is already bad. Um, you're gonna put just this stuff on the bottom of the cap. That's all it says to do. And then we're gonna go ahead and use... Loctite. Loctite, not a lot. I'm gonna use a little bit. That's more than enough. Slip that in. You're just gonna wanna repeat that for all the bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Uh, 70 foot pounds. Uh, crap, let's see if I can do this. Oh no, my neighbor's playing music now. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's move to the next one. Click. Click, 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 click. All right, she's good. Damn, Clayton, what is that? ACT racing clutch, baby. ACT? Oh. <laughs> what happened? Oh, the box got wet. Whoops. 
At least it's still good. It's a carrot. I hope. Oh yeah, you're good, dude. Oh wow! Wow! All right, take it out of the box. Clean the flywheel with brake clean. Same with the pressure plate. Got that sponsorship from O'Reilly's. Psych! What you doing over there? Come on, boy. We gotta install this. Ooh, sexy. Got the flywheel or pressure plate mounted up. Torque these to 15 pound feet, foot pound. And now we're focused on the transmission. They had to remove the fork. So we already ended up cleaning it. And if you can pass me the bearing and the grease, please, poor favor. All right, so important. You want to grease the the ball right here. Just, but not too much. Yeah, just put a little bit and then just rub it with your finger. Oops, that's more than enough. Um, and then you want to lube this, the sh I guess they call it the shaft. Um, I thought it was the splines. Is it? No, these are the splines. You still, ha you also have to, grease. you also have to put grease on this, but not too much, not too much. So you can grenade your- Just a little bit. That's more than enough. What I feel like it needs the most is this right here. Cause this is what's going to be sliding a lot and also sh um, apply some to your forks and if anyone wants to go on a comment contest with me about this go for it it's fine i've done this many times every time i do a, a clutch job and i've had good results with it so if you want to go back and forth just let me know uh, i feel like that's no, i think that's enough that's um, enough? Yeah. So open this the grease. So as you can see, I already applied the lube in here. Um, it doesn't matter if you're messy with it, honestly. Um, people, yeah, people try to be very clean about it, but I mean, this is how I've been doing it, and I've installed already like four or five clutches in my, I guess, life. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I guess that's somewhat a good amount of work. So make sure you loop that. I'm gonna loop this right here. Probably all good. I guess I could put a little bit more in here. I don't want to put so much because if it like spins out, it'll... Nah, it'll be fine. Why are you worrying so much, Clayton boy? My bad. Why are you worrying so much? If anyone wants to question me and my skills, go to the comment section below. I'll go in there and fight you. Yeah, go there and fight me. Look, see? <laughs> what the heck? You're going to demonetized. <laughs> All right. Cool, awesome. So let's go ahead and make the engine to the transmission now. All right, I guess we we'll do this off camera. Have fun. So it's another day. Me and Clayton got the engine and transmission made it together. Uh, we didn't have the right bolts, so I'm just using some spare ones, but we're gonna grab the ones from his um, setup and it's two days later. He's gonna come, what is today? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think he said he's gonna show up. So three days from now, he's finally gonna get his good swap. And there's Joseph's old 2ZZ. He needs to get that working somehow. I don't know, kind of motivated to get it working actually. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I, I really want to get it working, but thank you guys for watching. If you guys made it um, throughout the whole video, really appreciate you guys and more content on the way.